Hello everybody and welcome to lesson number 2.2 .2 in the Alice tutorial series. Today we're going to be continuing what we did last time. The last video we did had to do with how to add and manipulate objects, but one thing we didn't do in that video was move the camera around. Now to me this is probably one of my least favorite parts of the Alice interface. I find it to be a little bit difficult to use and sometimes a little bit counterintuitive. Nevertheless, if you're going to be making some neat programs in Alice, you gotta learn how to use the camera controls. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at how to control the camera in Alice. In order to demonstrate the use of the camera, we're gonna to have to add an object to a scene. So let's click on the green Add Objects button. Let's scroll over and pick something to add to our screen. Let's go ahead and use Medieval for this example. And I'm going to add a horse to my scene. I'm going to drag him over here. And I'm going to add a knight to my scene. And I'll just use the default positions for these guys. Maybe I'll take the knight and place him over here so that he's facing the horse. And finally, we'll add a the wise man class, so we'll have a third object here. We're going to take the wise man and move him towards the back. So that's all the stuff that we did in the last video. But in addition to having the ability to move objects around the screen, you can also change the view of your camera, and that's done with these arrows here. Uh, coincidentally, if you're out of the object adding screen, you've got the same arrows here in your programming window. You can also resize this window to give yourself a little bit more of a, a clear view. So a lot of times I like to have this screen a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on. There's three different sets of arrows. The leftmost arrow will move the camera left, right, up and down. The middle arrows here will move it forward, backwards, and turn the camera left and right. And then this final set of arrows will rotate the camera, tilting it forward and backwards. So if I want to move the camera around the scene rather than the objects, I can move the camera left, right, up, and down. Now the way this works is you'll click on the arrow and then drag your mouse in the direction that you want the camera to move. The further you move your mouse away from the center of the arrow, the faster the camera will pan. So if I'm moving the camera to the right, and I move the mouse, oh, about half an inch, see we're moving really slowly. I'll hit Control z to recenter the camera to where it was when I started. If I move my mouse, say, two inches instead of half an inch, see I'm moving much, much faster, and I can continue moving the mouse further and further away to move the camera faster and faster. That works in all directions, so kind of keep that in mind. When you're trying to do really fine camera movements, your mouse is going to stay real close to the center of the arrows. So this is the left, right, up and down camera movement. This next set of arrows will allow us to move the camera forward, backwards, and turn the camera left and right. So when I click here, I can move the camera forward towards the wise man, backwards towards the wise man, or away from the wise man, or if I had the camera positioned here and I want to turn it right to face the horse, I can turn the camera right and I can turn the camera left. Finally, I can also tilt the camera a little bit so that if I wanted to have the camera positioned near the feet of the wise man looking up at him, I'd move the camera down till it's closer to the grass, move it forward, until it's at the feet of the wise man, and then I'm going to tilt the camera forward by moving the mouse down. Now my camera is looking up at the wise man. Similarly, I can move the camera up into the air and tilt the camera down so that I'm looking at the scene kind of from a bird's eye perspective. Now this is the only way to really move the camera around freely. We can use some methods over here on the right 
to move the camera and pan the camera and do a lot of that stuff and we'll get to that in future videos but as you're moving your camera around this is how the camera controls in Alice work. Sometimes it's a little tricky to get used to but once you get the hang of it you'll be just fine. So that is the basics of camera control in Alice. Thank you for watching lesson 2.2 .2 in the Alice tutorial series. If you have any questions leave them in the comments and I look forward to future videos with everybody. Have a great day.